Welcome back to the Creo modeling tutorial and in this part I'll show you how to make the blend between the bonnet and the side and front panel of the car so I've created two curves here already and I want to make a blend between this surface because there are more surface down here and one surface up there we have to separate each surface and blend it with the top so I'll make a curve, I'm going to click on this line and make it attach to the top line. And I accept that. I'll switch, I'll click on the point here, switch it to curvature, which means it blends with that curve here and also at the top. So now that line is blended with the two lines there. So this line is blended with these two lines. So it's now just one line flows smoothly across. Okay. Yep. Okay, that's fine. So next bit, just add a curve here, add a curve here, and one more on that line. Go to edit and bring it to the end, bring it to the end. Yeah, because um, we can't, when we make a surface, we we can't really join lines in Creo Parametric. I don't know why it's not possible, but uh, you just can't join lines. And that means you have to create surface separately. So that's just a problem, but we just got to work with it. And I'm going to add a slight curve on these these new lines. Go edit at the control points. Double check on the top view. See if it's right. Okay, this line should be moved down a bit more. Okay, that's a problem. So these lines need to sit right in the middle so they blend with the mirror view and I need to fix that right now. Okay I think the problem is the projector line here needs to go across. Go to point, change it to the middle point. Okay now should be fine. Yep. Okay, so we can start making that surface now. Click Regenerate to just make any updates. And make sure this is on position. Accept and let's go to the next one. Yep. For this surface, when we change the tangency, it should be on curvature. So this tangency should on, be on curvature or tangent. Yep, that's all good. And there you go, we have a blend there. Now create a blend from the fenders down. 
I'll make a copy of this curve. There's a gap there, we're going to blend that into the bonnet and we'll do that by turning on the four views and make a copy, drag it across just about there and also shrink it down slightly so just go to move and drag the corners in slightly except go to the top view actually so it's this curve and the new curve draw a line there connecting the two lines and press the middle mouse button so you can add another line hold shift and create a line connecting there go to line edit and just check this line again so it looks more natural you want a natural looking surface right there okay that's fine and we also need to turn that point this point onto curvature so blend with the actually surface curvature the same with the other line change it to surface curvature and check with the top view and accept okay so I think that's a problem there just go surface and select the full curve we created not that one this one except so what we did there is create a blend between the the side panel and the and the bonnet of the car and just this doesn't look right we go to the front view we need to make all the curves more natural Yep, alright, that looks fine, that's good. Okay, so for the next bit, we'll start to build some more surface for the front of the car. Um, in the blueprints, there's an intersection that connects from here all the way to here. Uh, we need to do that on our model. So this intersecting line here needs to cut in. So I think this line just needs to curve in a bit more. So I'll go edit. To bring the points forward. And maybe we've got to move these lines in as well. Put on the full view so you can see more detail. looks fine there maybe push this line down more slightly So 
So just go through, make make your your own adjustment there, and I'll bring this back slightly more. Okay, so this is what you want. You want something to look like that, and that should be fine. For the little trim here, we're gonna make this line con connect right on that line. So we just, I'll just go ahead and do it, and you can just see what what it is. Actually, that trim there is it's, a, it's another surface. We're gonna remove this surface. So, so sometimes it's it's a red signal here. That means there's something wrong with the surface. So when we make some harsh changeless changes, it just shows up. Uh, telling us that there's a problem, but now I'll make a curve here. And this curve connects on this point here. So just draw a rough curve and go go in, go edit and make it right. This point should be on the middle. Use I like to use other control points. We're gonna put this onto horizontal constraints. And it should be a curve, curve um, degree five curve because this is a complicated curve. And this curve sits on the point here. Hold shift and drag it on. And now it sits on there. And spend some time to adjust the points of your curve, make the points natural. Okay, so let's finish off with that curve. We we'll drop a line down. Drop. Actually, before that, I'm going to draw another line because I want this to cut all the way through. Uh, actually, let's try it out. We'll see what happens. So go to trim, select the surface, select that line. Oh, I'm gonna drop the line first. Okay, let's go drop. And make sure it's the front view. Click on that surface, trim. And click remove. Yeah, actually it works fine. Okay, yep, it should look something like this. So, I think it's 10 minutes there already, so I'm gonna stop the video there and uh, follow the links for the next part of the video.